Welcome to The Weekend with me, Steve Savant, national insurance columnist and host of the daily internet talk show, The Business Insurance Zone. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about mathematics, or actually if I titled it, it would be called Stinking Thinking, showing you how even though we may think we've proven our math points, we really haven't done it. We're on the Mondo board today, and I'm going to show you a little episode that happened to me as we were teaching inside one of the federal facilities because I sometimes help with budgetary issues with inmates that are getting ready for pre-release. And I showed a case where one of the clients or one of the inmates actually decided he was going to make 75% of his crime and he was going to split 25% with five other people that are involved. He had a wheel man, he had a lookout man, he had a person tracking the um, uh, communications with the police and so forth and so on. However, the thing that really remarked to me was I was telling everybody, well, that means that he had 75% because he designed the case, he designed the, 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 crim the crime, he did all the funding for it, he recruited everything. That's why he thought he deserved the bulk of the take on this crime. Well, 5% five people into 25 was 5%. So the other five people were only gonna share 5%. And one of the inmates in the crowd objected to it saying, no, Steve, he shouldn't get 5%. The actual, the other four people should get 14%. And I said, well, that can't be right. And he came up to the board and this is what he did. He took five into 25. And he said, you can't divide five into two, but you can divide five into five one time. Then one times five is five, which equals 20. And five into 20 equals 14. They should get 14%. And I was like, that can't be right. And he said, well, let's try to check our math. And so he said, let's do 14 times five. Five times four is 20. And five times one is five, 25. That's the second time he checked his work. And of course, this is insane. That's not the number. And then he went 14, 14, 14, 14, and 14. He said 4, 8, 16, 12, 16, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So he has 25. When he did, he showed three different ways why, this, why his number 14 was the truth. We all know that's fuzzy math. Actually, that's not even fuzzy math. That's absolutely wrong. But you can see how stinking thinking, even though it looks right. And here's the funny part. About a third of the crowd in their yard believed it. Companies in our business are always touting service, products, and underwriting. And we do that too. But here's the difference. Now into the world of the elite producer with a value package that cuts us out of the pack a BD that approves social media marketing of non finra products and doesn't take an override. With the best competition desk in the industry, and for our loyal producers, a true group health plan. No one offers that. Brokers Alliance does. Well, you saw the wrong way to do math. Let's show you something that we used to do, well, I mean, about 100 years ago. We used to do 85 squared in the easiest way. 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 8 is 40. Carry the 2, 42. 8 times 5 is 40. 8 times 8 is 64. Carry the 4. And your number should be 5, 2, 2, 7. And that's the answer. Or you could do 8 times 5, which is 40. 8 times 8, which is 64. 5 times 5, which is 25 and eight is four, which is four. Now, let's pick up our number. The total in this triangle, five. The total in this trapezoid, two. The total in this trapezoid, 12. Carry the one, seven, two, two, five. And this works no matter if you're doing three numbers times two numbers or whatever number you want to put in here. We replaced this with what we currently do in school. That's good thinking. That's not stinking math like we had in the first part. Numbers matter, and how we calculate things actually will bring us to the end game for our client. We'll want to be able to focus on, are we actually doing the calculations right? Should I use the new way or the old way? As long as I come up with the right answer, that's what I'm looking for. I'm Steve Savant.